Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make two super easy and super cute fall crafts. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to make both. All right, y'all, let us get started. First off, I have one of these little wooden acorns that I got from a Dollar Tree. So we have that, and then we have one of these press on peel and stick removable tile decals. They have several different styles. I just thought this design was pretty, but you can use whatever design you like. So basically all that we're doing here, really easy. All that we're doing is we're gonna be covering the bottom part of this acorn with this tile. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom out. Sorry, I was up a little close there, <laughs> but we're gonna take this and all we're gonna do is just stick it down. And you wanna make sure that there's absolutely nothing on here. Now, when I got this, there was like, I don't know, like glitter or something all over it. So I think I want the little top here, the cap of the acorn, this pointing this way. So I'm going to have it facing this way. I'll cut that off here in a second. But these are pretty thick. And I've used these for several different crafts. The adhesive on these are generally pretty good. So you don't need to worry about, you know, putting any extra glue or anything on it. So what I'm going to do, it's hard to do on camera because I'm having to like lean over here. I think that looks okay. And then I'm just going to really, really press this down, okay? Because once you got to put the paint on, you don't want any of the moisture from the paint getting up and under there and messing it up and causing it to lift. So just take your time and really, really press this down. Now that that is on there, I'm going to take some scissors. Let's flip it over. Then I'm just going to trim away the excess. Just take your time with this. Go slow. Just trim right up against your design here. And then once you trim all this away, you want to go back and really try to press those edges down, okay, so that they won't lift later. All right, so here it is all painted. And of course, I'll go back and trim that up here in a minute, but there she is. Now for the top here, we're just going to wrap that with some rope. And when I say wrap it with rope, I mean wrap it with rope. We're literally just going to glue it down and then go round and round and round to get up to the top and then just wrap that part. But I am using this. This is four ply. Now you can use the, the thinner kind at Dollar Tree if you want to. You're just gonna have to, you know, wrap it more. Or you can use the big bulky kind. I think this would do better, you know, considering the stem up here and all. But I'm just gonna start right where this touches the wooden base here. And we're just gonna put down a little bit of hot glue Okay, then we're going to just stick our rope down. And yeah, I'll trim the end of it off. I know it's sticking way over the edge here, but I'll trim that off later. And we're just going to glue it here. And like I said, just wrap it. Just wrap it around using hot glue every now and again. Just to tack it into place. And we'll come back and add on some more. Okay, so this is done. Now I have some of this paint here. Classic caramel. Oh, I got glue all over me. And I'm just going to, if I can get the bottle open... This is an old bottle of paint. We're just going to dry brush a little bit of this paint on here. Not a whole lot. Just going to dry brush just a little bit just to give it a little bit more texture. So I have this piece of paper here and I'm just going to put just a little bit of that paint on there. See? And I'm just going to kind of dab my brush in it and then dab it on the paper. Because like I said, we don't want a whole lot. And I'm just going to kind of, oh, I got some fuzzies on here. Just kind of just every now and again. Just every now and again, put a little bit on there. And you can smear it with your fingers too. Just a little. Like so. And go back, do some more. Smear it with your fingers if you want to. You don't have to smear it. You can just paint it on there and leave it if you want to. You don't have to do what I'm doing. A little more. And I'm going to do this until I get the look that I'm going for. All right, I think I'm going to call this done. Now, all I did up here is I just glued on a bow, and this is my easy no-tie bow that y'all see me make a lot. If you haven't seen that video, look in the description box, and I'll also pin a comment. But I think that's cute just the way it is. I'm going to leave it like this. You can use it as a door hanger or, you know, like as an embellishment on a wreath. Now, if you want more stuff on here, you know, maybe you could get some autumn leaves and put on here. You can make a bigger bow. I thought about putting tails on the bow, but then I'm like, no, I didn't. I wanted to leave it very, very basic. 
very rustic, I guess you could say. I didn't want to put a whole lot of frou-frou on here. But there we go. I'm very happy with it. So let's move on to number two. Okay, so this has glitter all in it. Man, <laughs> I'm going to have to brush that glitter out. But this is a cute little tray that I got at Dollar Tree. Is that not cute? It has a little pumpkin cut out on the side. But I got one of these, and because my Dollar Tree, yes, it's late September, and my Dollar Tree has Christmas out. So I can get started early, right? They also have these little bags of wooden shapes. You can see these are little snowmen. These are little snowmen. And we're going to use these for the legs on our tray. So first, let us get our hot glue gun. Actually, mine's not quite hot enough. So let me plug it in and I'll be back. All right, glue gun is now plugged in. But these little snowman shapes, how cute is that? And good for the legs on the bottom of this. I said I was gonna brush out that glitter. I'll do it before I paint it, okay? Anyway, we're gonna turn our tray upside down and we are going to be using four of these for the legs. So when you see these, you know what? These are good for year-round crafts. Grab a few bags when you find them. They're really cute. So we're going to be gluing them onto the bottom of our tray like so. So we're just going to take these, put a blob of hot glue on the bottom, and then we're just gluing them down in the corners. Try to get them even so that your little legs won't be all wobbly. We're just going to glue these all the way around. Okay, so that should be set, and now we have this cute little tray on legs. I found these stickers also at Dollar Tree over with the stickers and the scrapbooking. My store has a lot of scrapbooking stuff, and they have a lot of these uh, puffy stickers, so that's where I found these. And I wanted to use these just to kind of dress up the front of it a little bit and give it some texture. So it looks like we have several different designs here. Are they all different? No, they're not all different, but I will try my best to alternate them so that, you know, two of the same design is not. Let's start with this one, I think, because I don't know how many is going to fit on here. Wow, now that's some adhesive. <laughs> all right, let's see. Just stick this here. Just get that into position before you press it down, because I think these are going to stick pretty well. And then stick it down. All right, so we have five across here. Now, I have three left over, and I do have another pack, so I'll have to put another strip around the back of it, okay? So you're going to need two packs of these. You just evenly space them out and then stick them down. So now, just like in the previous craft, I'm going to take this outside, and I'm going to spray paint it and then come back and finish it up. So here is our little tray all painted. I really like the way this came out. So let's set that over there. So now I have this candle. I just said previously that I don't like gold and I really don't, but we have this gold candle here. And you know what? I am thinking that I want to try to dry brush this with just a little bit of acrylic paint. Now this paint that I have is called a classic caramel. And I'm just going to dot a little bit of it on just to tone this down i know you probably can't see it really on camera but i can see it here in real life and all that we're doing is just toning this down just the tiniest little bit you can still see the sparkle we're just dulling it down so that it's not as obnoxious okay so we have our candle i said it's dulled down just a little bit it's not it looks better in person than it does on camera, I can tell you that. But anyway, we're just going to set this right here. And now what I'm going to do, I have some of this boxwood. This came from Walmart, but you can use moss, um, whatever. Let's see, I don't think I even want to cut that. Let's just pull their little heads off, shall we? We can do that. And then we're just going to put that in here around our candle. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So we're just going to take this and just tuck it down in there. That's all we're doing. So, you know, I'm not going to glue anything down in case you want to empty this out and use it for something else. You know, you can use it for Christmas stuff if you want to later on. Um, I'm just going to tuck this down around everything and leave it like that, I think. I don't. Th I have some, like, some little glittery pumpkins over here, too, that I was thinking about putting down in there. But uh, I don't think I am. Now, whenever you get ready to turn your candle off, you know, just be careful when you take it out so all your greenery doesn't go flying everywhere. But, um, 
that is that. And this is really cute. Super easy and really, really cute. Of course, you use whatever color candle you want to. I just wanted to dull down that glitter a little bit. And I, I think it's really pretty. I really do. I'm very happy with how it came out. Okay. And there we go. How cute is that? Anyway, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I will see you all later. Bye.